so we have addition of HBr to 1 butene now this molecule is 1 butene if HBr is added over this molecule it follow Marconi Kauf addition and hydrogen is added to carbon number 1 and bromine is added to carbon number 2 so this is basically Marconi Kauf addition you may remember in case of Marconi Kauf addition hydrogen is added to the carbon which already has more number of hydrogen hydrogen is added to the carbon which already has more number of hydrogen in this case this carbon has two hydrogen and this carbon has only one hydrogen so hydrogen will be added to the carbon number one so this product is basically two bromo butane so this is two bromo butane now if you see 2 bromobutane this has a optically active carbon because there are four different group is attached to this carbon so we have four different groups so one side we have ethyl another we have hydrogen another group we have methyl and bromo so this carbon is optically active basically chiral carbon so this carbon is chiral carbon and the compound is optically active so this compound is optically active so basically there will be two a stereo isomers is possible for two bromobutane one will have plus optical rotation and another will have minus optical rotation so we can say two a stereo isomers are possible for 2 bromobutane one will be plus another will be minus and these two stereo isomers are enantiomers that is mirror image to each other so they will be enantiomers that is mirror image to each other now the question is in this reaction that is addition of HBr to 1 butene what will be the product either we will get plus isomer or we will get minus isomer or we will get both so what is the product and this can be answered only on the basis of mechanism so let us consider mechanism of this reaction so in the first step alkene will act as a nucleophile and HBr will act as an electrophile 
So this double bond will attack on this hydrogen and this bond leaves and then we will form a carbocation. So this time we have a 2 degree carbocation. So product is 2 degree carbocation. So we have hydrogen, methyl and ethyl group attached. Now what is the hybridization of this carbon in carbocation? So this carbon is sp2 hybridized and you may remember shape of carbocation is triangular planar. So this is zometry that is triangular planar. So carbocation is triangular planar in shape. So we can show something like this. And we have empty P lobe. And this is planar. So we have a plane. So this bond lie inside. This is outside and this is in the blackboard plane. So this bond is going inside the blackboard plane. This is coming outside the blackboard plane and this is in the blackboard plane. Now let us consider the next step. So in the next step we have a nucleophilic attack by Br minus. So Br minus will attack on this carbon. So this is acting as electrophile and this is acting as a nucleophile. So finally we will have, so this side we have ethyl and this side methyl and here we will have bromine. So in the second step we have attack of bromine. Now let us see the orbital picture diagram for this step. So we have a carbocation, this carbocation has three groups, hydrogen, ethyl and methyl and this is planar in shape. Now for Br minus, there are two possibility, it can attack on this carbocation from the top face, so this is top attack. or it can also attack on the bottom face. So this is bottom attack. So for Br minus there are two possibility. Br minus can attack from top as well as bottom face. Now when it attacks from the top face, this group will go slightly below, this group will also go slightly below and this will also go slightly below. And we will have bromine here. So this is top attack. Now when bromine attacks from the bottom face, we can write product. Now in this case, these groups will go slightly up above the plane. So three group will go above the plane. So methyl will go slightly above, hydrogen will go slightly above and ethyl will also go slightly above and bromine is coming from the below the plane. So this is from bottom attack. 
Now if you see these two products are mirror image to each other. So in this reaction basically both stereoisomers will be formed that is plus as well as minus both will be formed and this is because carbocation is planar in shape and top attack and bottom attack are equally likely. So we can say in this reaction both enantiomers will be formed in equal amount and this is because so what is the reason and the reason is simple top and bottom attack are equally likely So this kind of mixture is called a racemic mixture. So what is racemic mixture? A mixture in which two enantiomers are present in equal amount. So racemic mixture is a mixture in which two enantiomers are present in equal amount so in this case if i say plus isomer it will have 50 percent and minus isomer it will also have 50 percent so total optical rotation of racemic mixture is zero degree so we can say total optical rotation of racemic mixture is 0 degree and this is because plane polarized light will be rotated in left direction and right direction equally so why this happens this is because plane polarized light is rotated left and right or you can say clockwise and anti-clockwise equally. So we can say racemic mixture is optically inactive because it will have zero degree optical rotation this means racemic mixture is optically inactive. So in this lecture we discussed about formation of racemic mixture and we take an example of addition of HBr to 1-butene. Many other examples are also possible that generates a product that is basically racemic mixture.